Hi, I'm Rich and welcome back to my Minnesota native plant channel. Uh, today we're going to look at the gray-headed coneflower. This is a uh, native, grows uh, three to five feet tall, uh, mainly in the southern part of the state, dry prairies and savannas. Um, it does well in a native garden. It can get pretty tall. The ones uh, here, these are about five feet tall. Um, the leaves are pretty rough. Uh, nothing special with the leaves. The uh, blooms are what are real nice, uh, about three inch blooms. The uh, petals uh, droop away uh, from the center and the center starts out green and then as it uh, matures turns more dark purple or brown. Um, it's a nice contrast to some of the other purples that come out midsummer. Um, and then uh, well, the garden turns pretty yellow or the native plants seem to turn a lot of yellows coming out late in the year. But this is a real unique bloom. Let's show you what the some of the foliage. You can see nothing special. These are about five feet tall in the garden. But just a, a real pretty unique uh, flower. Attracts a lot of insects. Attracts a lot of butterflies. Um, you can see it's got it's mixed in with some other yellows. We're getting into our yellow phase here. But the uh, gray-headed coneflower, a real nice addition to uh, the native garden. It kind of self-sows. Birds love them as well, but this will uh, start, uh, I guess, wherever the plant falls during the winter. If it falls, that's where the next plants come up. But uh, a real nice addition to the uh, native garden, the uh, gray-headed coneflower. Thanks again for watching my channel. Take care.